Good morning adventurers, it's day three at Centre Parks. Time for an early morning bike ride now so I'm going to strap the camera on the front and we'll take you for an off-road cycle. I'm not very good at cycling so bear with me. Okay, so walk and cycle done for the morning. We're now gonna head down and play football. We'll show you what that's all about. And then we're off to the pancake house. And then we've got three boats to go out on the lake with. Okay, so we made it onto football. We'll show you a little bit of footage of what we get up to. Kids are on first and then I'm gonna win. So if you don't ask, you don't get. We just asked for the balls for table two because it was empty. They've given them to us, but we've only got 15 minutes, but 15 minutes extra free. So the kids are playing on there and the adults are on this one at the minute. Oh, no. wah, wah, wah. So if anybody's seen our videos from Sherwood, this is the sister that kicked my camera over, this one. Oh. 
Nope. Yes. Okay, you win some, you lose some. I won more than I lost, so that's the important thing. Right, we're heading along the boat in lake now, down to the pancake house, grab some food, and then we're going on the lake in a couple of hours. So we'll see you for food, and we'll see you on the lake as well. It's nice and quiet at the moment. Not for too much longer though. This is going to be yeah, wait till we get <laughs> Time for a bit of food. Let's go. A table for 12 naughty ones in the corner, apparently. Yeah, we got all the men wearing one. James already got a hat. Just with Nutella. And Okay, so pancake house done. The pancake house menu has changed recently. So if you um, have been before, it's not the same. Um, portion size is smaller. The pancake stacks, you get three, you used to get four. However, it's better because I've kind of come out not feeling stuffed. Um, the portion size was still decent. So yeah, dead happy. Cost us 140 quid for 10 of us to eat. Uh, mine and Sam's came to 30 quid for two meals and two drinks. So yeah, definitely. We always do the pancake house. The menu's changed, seen lots of people moaning about it, but actually it doesn't make any difference to us. So we were more than happy. Right, onto the boat. Okay, so at the boathouse there are lockers to put some bits in. So we're just in there now, then we're gonna check in. <laughs> Okay, so check in for the boating activities is at the boathouse just next door is the lockers and then there's also the waterfront kiosk just there. The waterfront kiosk has got all different types of food and drink if you're wanting to chill down here at the beach. Right, it is time. Let's go for a swim. Right, we're in. Hopefully we don't sink, I'm sure we won't. Let's give it a go. Right, off we go. None of them. If I was choosing it, I'd go number seven. Number seven, is that the six? And that's it, half an hour over, nice and straightforward. We've done the electric boats a few times, but it was nice to just go around, got lovely weather today, so definitely something that I would recommend doing. I think it was 38 pound for the six seater, which isn't bad at all. And you can take dogs on. So next time we come and we bring Remy, then we'll, we'll definitely take her on. Mm. Oh, we've done it again. <laughs> right, okay, we're going down to the bird hide. So we're going to take you along. Everyone else has gone for a bike ride and a swim. But yeah, we'll show you something different. We went down earlier today, but I didn't have the camera. So we'll see you down there in a minute. It's a decent walk. It's the other end of the park. We found a new friend before we got there. Okay, so we made it to the nature discovery area. This is where the bird hide is, and there's an area where 
there's no bikes and all that stuff allowed. Earlier today we came down here and we saw some deer and some other bits. So we're going to go and see what we can see and see if we can see anything in the bird hide. So this is kind of the area. There's a water bit there, loads of trees, loads of hiding areas. So I've seen some squirrels already since we've been in. But it's nice and quiet, there's no one down here. I'm not, it's not really well signposted on the map, so I'm not sure it's quite that well known. And it's right at the bottom of the park, so not everybody will walk past this to sort of know it's there. Centre Park's duck, the staple of a Centre Park's trip. So we caught a glimpse of five deers on the way round. We've seen some squirrels, seen some ducks, seen a pheasant. So yeah, loads of wildlife. We're the only people in this entire area at the moment. Um, so if you want to see deer and you haven't got them at your lodge, this is definitely the place to be. It's absolutely amazing down here. We've seen so much wildlife so far and the space is ridiculous. Like you've got the bird hide over this way. You've got so much woodland and wildlife space. We've got deers all over up in this direction. It is unbelievable. Definitely worthwhile coming down to this spot at this time of night. I mean, it's 10 past six, so sun's just setting. The deers are out, the squirrels, the birds, uh, pheasants, all those sorts of things. It's just so peaceful and it's just me and Sam here. So our time at Centre Parks this time round is coming to an end and it's gone so fast. Um, I'm not sure how these videos have turned out because I've been trying to kind of show people the ropes, the people that haven't been to Centre Parks before, that's sort of six out of the 12 of us. And then the other four have only been once. So. We've been doing some showing, so I don't know how these videos are going to come out. Probably all going to be relatively small. Um, next time you see us, we will be boarding uh, an MSC cruise ship for a two days taster cruise on board one of the MSC cruise ships, and then it's on to the big one. It's out to Canada to do an Alaskan cruise on the Disney Wonder. So make sure you subscribe, and if you want to see what we get up to there, and then after that, it's a trip to Walt Disney World. And then after that, trip to Disneyland Paris. And then we've got another cruise booked for next year on the Disney Fantasy. So if you want to see what we get up to, follow, like, subscribe, do all that social media stuff. And we'll see you in the next adventure. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up